Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, we meet today talking about the third uh, lecture or reminder or talk about how, the group of how. Today we are going to talk about how to create our humanity. How to create our humanity. I was traveling last weekend between Geneva and Doha on uh, EasyJet where I draw this drawing which you can see it in the second slide. Quite often we talk about the International Committee of Red Cross as a Christian organization and any Red Cross is a Christian organization. This is not true and is not right. They are secular organization and humanitarian organization. The good thing about the ICRC, the International Committee of Red Cross, it creates what we call humanitarian principles. Humanitarian principles. Al Ma'il which are seven. Seven, humanity, neutrality, impartiality, independence, volunteerism, uh, unity, and universality. Humanity, impartiality, neutrality, independence, volunteerism, unity and uh, universality. Anything of this means anything about religion? Nothing. This has nothing to do about religion. It cross-cut all the different theoretical, theoretical, theological backgrounds of different religion from Islam Christianity, Judaism, everywhere. Talk about impartiality, neutrality, unity, voluntarism, humanity, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. This is what we call humanitarian principles. We can move to the second slide. Yes. When I draw this drawing in the airplane last Saturday, Sunday, between Birmingham, Geneva, Geneva, Doha, Doha, Birmingham. I thought about what we call, no, think the first one, please. what we call the internal behavior of the human soul. How to create our humanity. Depends on our internal behavior of our human soul depends on our internal behavior of our human soul, which is based on the next slide, please, which is this, which I drew last week. There are six points internally, we have to look at them. Belief, sincerity, encompassing, contentment, forgiveness, and excellence. The basic foundation assess in Sanyatna, the basic foundation or the foundation of our humanity is our belief in humanity. When we believe in humanity, we serve humanity. When we believe in humanity, we do not divide it into sects, theology, religion, races, culture, but who bring everything. Belief is the bedrock of our humanity. And belief is here. It's not here in the tank. So if we talk about the seven humanitarian principles, we have, this is the external ones, we talk about them. As the International British Cross declared them long time ago, the internal 
behavior of the human soul is depending on the belief of anyone who works for humanity and to create our own humanity. So belief is a cornerstone. No distinction between others. So the foundation is belief. It is pillar. This blue, this blue pyramid, it is pillar here, is sincerity. How sincere we are when we claim that we are working for humanity. How sincere we are when we say that we are trying to save humanity. How sincere we are when we say that we are trying to support humanity. How sincere we are when we say that we are trying to invest in humanity. So the belief is something that nobody can see because it's here. The internal behavior. The soul, the human soul, has different behaviors. Okay, external behavior and the seven principles, seven material principles, and internal behavior of what I'm talking about today. Belief, sincerity. So the foundation is belief. The pillar or the axis, the axis, the axis is sincerity. So don't believe in humanity and do not sincere enough. We cannot create our humanity. The third point, as we write here, is encompassing. It is, it's like a building. Like a building. Humanity is like a building. Building that can encompass everything. Contain everything. Contain everybody. Does not leave anybody outside. So, our building is encompassing of our structure, the philosophy of our structure, of the behavior of internal soul to create our humanity is encompassing. Encompassing. We encompass everybody. This is what we aim to have, this kind of building that we all try to build. Once upon a time, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If you look at what I have done and what other prophets before me have done, it's like somebody has built a house, or a beautiful palace, so beautiful, so beautiful, so rich in architecture. Apart from a missing corner stone, missing, missing corner stone." And every passenger was looking at such a building, such a house, such a palace, saying, how beautiful is such a house or a palace. But we wish that somebody could have built this corner store. And he said about himself, I am the store to complete it. So this is the encompassing. So it is building, it's encompassing. The philosophy of it is to encompass everybody. Bina'uha al-Kamal. When we build our humanity, should build perfectly, together, not to isolate anybody outside it. It's like a tree has fruits. What is the fruits? What are the fruits of the humanity that we are trying to create? What are the fruits? of our humanity is contentment to be satisfied with what you have to be satisfied with what God has given us the fruits of our humanity internally is contentment number four foundation is belief 
pillar is sincerity, building is encompassing, and its fruit is the contentment. Each human, each one of us, has his own or her own humanity inside them to produce fruit of contentment. This is the behavior of the inner soul of each and every one of us based on belief, sincerity, encompassing, and contentment. It's not only the six or seven or eight or nine or ten principles being written as humanitarian principles, whether by the National Committee of Red Cross or by anybody else. Quran has been revealed. Bible has been revealed. But so what? Are we believing, truly believing in its message? Are we sincere in becoming true believers? Are we encompassing and have the contentment in our heart? No humanity can be built in our society unless we have this four or five or six step. Foundation is belief, pillar is sincerity, building is encompassing, the binaire, structure, the structure is encompassing, and the fruit is contentment. Some people might say, what do you mean by contentment is a fruit? If you are satisfied with what God has given you, you can give this sort of satisfaction and pleasure to the community that you are trying to serve. You are not jealous, you don't envy, you don't backbite, you don't corrupt, you don't become a corrupt individual, you do not create a corrupt society. Because contentment is in the heart. Encompassing is in the heart. Belief is in the heart. Sincerity is in the heart. Nobody knows them. Even the angels cannot write about them. Only God can write about them because He knows every soul and what it has and what's in inner behavior or internal behavior. Belief, sincerity, encompassing, contentment. This is the fruits. What else? It is seeds. Fruits has seeds. What are the seeds of our humanity? It's forgiveness. The fruit of contentment uh, produce seeds of forgiveness. Your fruits of contentment produce seeds seeds of forgiveness. What Allah said about people, they don't sin and ask forgiveness. I will create people who can sin and ask forgiveness. One of the nicknames of God is Al-Ghafur, a forgiver, Al-Rahman, the merciful, Al-Rahim, Rahman, Rahim, the most, the most merciful and most compassionate. Forgiveness is the seeds which comes from the fruits of your humanity to plant other seeds, other trees, sorry, in different parts of the world. Belief, sincerity, encompassing. So, belief is the foundation, sincerity is the pillar, encompassing is the structure, fruit is the contentment and forgiveness is the seeds to come out of the fruits of our humanity which lives or lies or embedded or entrenched in our hearts and our body and our soul. This is the inner humanity in our heart before we talk publicly about we are the savior of humanity. We are huh? the protector of humanity, we are humanity. Each one of us 
has his own humanity in him or in her. But we sometimes abuse our internal behavior which led us to destroy humanity. But we control our behavior, internal behavior. To, if we save humanity in our hearts, we can save humanity outside our hearts. This is, this is the challenge. Humanity is not only seven principles. Could be rehearsed, could be written, could be talked about, but also humanity and ourselves is in our body, inside a gene that we should have in our body to drive us and to control our internal behavior of our soul. So the seeds are forgiveness. So you can imagine that one fruit which is contentment can have how many hundreds of seeds that birds and insects, animals can throw it to different parts of the world. The seed of your fruit of contentment produces the trees of your humanity of forgiveness. Only one who knows that is God. Subhanahu Number six is what? Is a taste of our humanity. Taste. Taste of our. Taste of our humanity is excellence and ihsan. Nobody can taste excellence, but can feel excellence, can see excellence, can live the process of excelling to create excellence for others. So from the foundation to the pillar, to the structure, to the fruit, to the seed, to the taste, taste, can we, our humanity, have the taste of excellence to save humanity, which includes all plants that God has created. The sort, the sort of tasteful, delicious, inner feeling, inner behavior of our souls which let us to excel huh? to excel and produce this kind of different taste for humanity so foundation pillar structure fruit, seeds and taste belief Sincerity, encompassing, contentment, forgiveness, and excellence. We have to balance between the seven humanitarian principles and the six internal behavior of the human soul. So when we come to adhere to humanitarian work and say, we are here to help, we are here to save, we are here to support, we are here to protect, we are here to empower, we are here to defend. We should clear and clean our humanity in our soul itself. It's not a speech, a speech by, by a technician, it's not a, a powerful statement by a politician, it's not a sentimental sentence by a fundraiser, it's not an act of art by an actor or an actress, it's not a drawing, it's not a part of a music that you play, it's a part of the feeling 
of saving humanity within your soul, this kind of feeling in your soul will enable you and us to save it outside in the community, with the displaced people, with the poor people, with everybody. Some people might say this is so difficult to do. If you want to create your own humanity in your own soul, you have to stand on a firm ground. Then you have to purify the soul, the inner behavior of the human soul to enable it by an encompassing, sincere, forgiving, and excelling soul. Let us look at our humanity and our souls and look at what others do to humanity globally. Because the internal behavior is wicked, corrupt, it destroys the world. Because your internal behavior of your human soul is based on this sex principle, so you will be able to save the world. The option is on the table for all of us. This is internal behavior of our soul, how it should be to start and find a way to defend and save humanity through each individual soul. I would like to say, while we are looking at all these problems, we need to keep reminding ourselves of ourselves before we talk about others and say that to that they are right or wrong. So if we can conclude, can you bring the first slide please? If you can conclude, if you want to create our humanity, we have to build it on this sixth internal behavior which goes from can you second slide? Belief, sincerity, encompassing, contentment, forgiveness and excellence. And this will guide the other seven humanitarian principles, which is neutrality, partiality, independence, uh, volunteerism, universality, unity, and uh, the last one, I always forgive the last one, and uh, humanity. Humanity needs you, needs each and every one of us to perfect his or her own humanity and to create the right humanity in our souls to enable us to support, save, defend humanity that is suffering from us nowadays. Thank you very much. Tomorrow we'll do the same one. But in Arabic, at 3 o'clock again, London time. And this, huh? three. at 3 o'clock, inshallah. And uh, we call it actually, كيف نصنع إنسانياتنا? كيف نصنع إنسانياتنا? 3 o'clock in Arabic. Assalamu alaikum wa